I love high level, but in the beginning, while I was getting accustomed to the website editor, I realized that some of my websites look basic, boring, and just not appealing at all. Now, after countless hours of learning how to use the editor and a few customizations, I am now able to impress my clients with websites that are eye-catchy, user-friendly, and stand out from any other high-level websites out there. If you're new, my name's Rico, and my brother and I run a high-level web design agency. So whether you're thinking about building a website for your own business, business or you offer websites for your clients, I'm gonna share a quick step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make your high-level websites look more expensive and take them to the next level. So I'm gonna take this website and show you what I would do to make it better. Just a few things to make it cooler. If you wanna get this website for your business or for your clients, click the link in the description and you can get your own copy. All right, so I am here on the website editor of High Level, and I'm going to show you how to do three things. So the first is I'm going to show you how to add those cool animations that you see on some websites. So what I'll do is here, I'll add a element, and the element that I'm going to add is a code. And I'll click here and open the code editor. I'm going to go to this Notion doc that I've created for myself. Like every time that I create websites for clients and I'm doing something specific, I add resources here that will help me in the future. So that's what I'm going to do right now. And I'll click this right here. And there's this piece of code that I'll copy and paste into the editor. What I'll do is I'll paste this in the description of the video. So you don't have to like type it manually. Okay, so copy and I'll go ahead and paste this here. And you'll see why this is important in just a sec. For now, we'll just hit save. We're going to go to this page called animate.style. What we're going to be doing here is picking the animations that we want to use on our website. You can go as crazy as you want, but usually I try to stick with simple fades just because I want the website to look natural. You want these animations to enhance the user experience without distracting or confusing the user, which at the end of the day would be bad web design. Now, what I'll do is I'll scroll here. And as you see, as you start clicking different effects, you see like kind of what elements or sections would do. I like to play around a lot with the fading entrances, specifically the fading. There are some that are fading left, fading right. Now we'll go back to the website editor. You can do it for a single element or for an entire column, for a row, even for a section. What I'm going to do is I have these four different types of salads that I want to highlight and I want to show them in a way that's unique. So I'll click the section that I want to go ahead and animate. We'll type the word wow. And in this case, we'll do fade in left, hit enter. And for this section, we'll do again, wow fade in right and you get the idea so i'll do the same for the next two sections so let me show you what this would look like so let me just hit here preview so now you see the salads they start coming left right left right and just making your site look cool overall one of the problems that you may encounter when you're doing these animations on your high level sites is that the animations might not work and a quick fix is to check how you've typed the word. You see that the word fade is all in lowercase and in has the first letter capitalized as well as the word right. And a quick way to check this is to go here and see exactly how is it that uh, it's being used. The second thing that I'm going to show you is how to change the color of a section when you hover over them. And it's just a cool effect that I like to add. You can use this to make the site a little bit more interactive and also to highlight specific elements. First, we'll go ahead and click the element or the row that we want to apply the effect to. Go to advanced. We'll copy the CSS selector. We'll go here to the custom CSS. And if you haven't added anything to your site at the moment, it wouldn't have any of this. So for now, what I'm going to do is scroll all the way to the bottom and I would go ahead and click this here. And what I'm trying to do is get this effect to work when I hover my mouse over it. So I'll, that's what I'll type right now, hover, and then I'll do this and then close right here. And this is just a syntax for CSS. And it's just a way that we get this to work. What I'll do now is go back to my Notion doc, go to this one right here, how to make a section change color when hovering over. And I'll do it step by step so you understand what I'm doing and how this works. So for now, I'll just copy this line right here. Go back to my website editor here. I'll paste it. And what this is saying is that when I hover over that specific section, 
I want the background color to be white. This is hex. FFF just means white. If we want it so that the background changes to color gray, we need to find the hex code. So if you have it, great. But if not, I have this cool site where you can just kind of like find colors and stuff. I use it a lot for my web design clients. But what you can do is click this right here and then find the kind of color that you're looking for. So in this case, I want a uh, gray that's a little bit light. So let's say just something like this. I'll go ahead and copy this right here. And then that's the color that I want my section to change to when I hover my mouse over. So we'll hit save and you'll see what that looks like. You see that as my mouse goes over it, the section changes color. The problem here is that it's a little bit too abrupt. So we wanna make it so that the transition is a little bit easier, both going in to the hover and out of the hover. So again, we'll go back to custom CSS. We'll scroll all the way to where we're working. And what we'll do, I wanna go back to this notion here that I have for myself. I'll add this right here and I'll paste it here. So basically what this means is that when we hover, the color is going to change to this in 0.5 seconds. And when we hover out of it, the color is going to change back to the default in 0.5 seconds. And I'm going to hit save. So now you see that when I hover in and out to that section, the transition is a lot more smoother. The last effect that I want to show you, there is multiple elements, in this case, multiple images will make it so that when I hover my mouse over them, the size of the image will increase a little bit. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to click the image. I'm going to go back to advanced, click the CSS selector, go back here to the custom CSS. Similar to what we did for the second element, we'll do this right here. I'm actually going to go ahead and do it twice just because we want the transition in and out to be smooth. So I'll just do over and I'll go back to my Notion doc. Here is where I have all of the resources and uh, that way I don't have to remember how to make these effects. I just copy and paste as I learn how to do them. I have this one right here that is how to make images bigger when you hover over them. So what I'm going to do now is copy that code that I need and I'll just paste this here, similar to what we did for the previous one. Paste it here. And in this case, what this means is that when I hover into that image, it's going to scale by 1.2. So it's going to make it 20% bigger. So let's say I just wanted to make it 10% bigger. I'll do 1.1. We're going to save. And you'll see that as I hover my mouse over it, the image goes bigger. Now, what I'm going to do next is to do the same thing for the four images. And a quick way to do this is to copy that piece of code four times and then go to each and change this right here. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'll show you the final product so you get the idea. So we have our final website here and you see that as I scroll down, if I hover my mouse over this section, it changes color. And as I keep scrolling down, the different elements fade in left and right. And lastly, down here, you see that as I hover over each of these images, they become bigger. So this is how you make your high level websites a little bit more unique. Make sure that they stand out and not just like everyone else's. If you want to get this template for your own business, or if you're a SaaS agency owner and want to provide this for your clients, you can go ahead and click the link in the description, get this template already with the effects done for you. So with that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.